Joining us now by phone for his reaction is Congressman Kevin Brady, Vice Chairman and top Republican on the powerful Joint Economic Committee. Congressman, the President's recommendations to a Congressional Super Committee would deliver deficit savings of more than $3 trillion over the next decade, roughly half of that coming from higher tax revenues. Is that plan a non-starter with Republicans? You know, it is, and I think it really is a non-starter with the American public. Uh, we need serious leadership uh, on the economy and on the deficit. I don't think this qualifies as either. We're going to actually raise taxes on the job traders and the consumers in these pro-growth brackets, most likely to help us get out of these economic doldrums. So I just don't think it makes sense. So the Buffett rule, which is named after billionaire Warren Buffett, also a non-starter for Republicans? You know, I think it is that one, if people in the millionaire level want to pay more taxes, we have an avenue for them. Uh, but the truth of the matter is that won't solve our deficit or come even close to it. We could literally double everyone's taxes in America, and this government would still be running a deficit. We've really got to get control on the spending side. Well, the president said he is willing to work with Democrats and Republicans, and he's talking about cutting Medicare benefits, but at the same time, he wants the wealthy, quote, to pay their fair share of taxes. Is the GOP going to be seen as the party perhaps not willing to compromise? President Obama obviously probably does not want to cut Medicare spending. Uh, certainly the Democrats don't. So will the GOP be seen as the party not willing to come to the table? I don't think so from the standpoint of we're willing to sit down with the president for a real jobs agenda. All we get are these bills lobbed to Congress with no discussion, no real serious negotiation. Truth of the matter is we want to get this economy going. We want to get the deficit under control. We think a balanced approach is to rev this economy back up, for one, and two, get our spending under control, including entitlement. So I think there is room for common ground, but not on the, you know, let's tax everyone. That will solve our problem. It won't. All right. What do you mean by rev the economy up? What specifically can the Republicans put forward as a counter that would increase jobs in the U.S.? You know, I think immediately, one, put our energy industry back to work. We've got almost a million U.S. jobs uh, on the table uh, that uh, could be uh, generated. If we just put our energy industry back to work in the Gulf, the coast in Alaska. Uh, repatriation, we've got over a trillion dollars of American profits stranded overseas. We ought to bring that back, a no-cost free market stimulus to this economy. We've got the free trade agreements that could create almost a quarter million uh, new jobs. Uh, and then I think taking off the table a lot of these issues our local companies uh, say are holding them back. The talk of tax increases, more, more regulation, just looking at balance regulations. I think could actually get this economy, get these people off the sidelines and back into the economic game. Well, it sounds like there potentially might be some area of agreement when you talked about bringing jobs back. What about just starting with uh, overall tax reform? Is that something that perhaps might be an avenue both sides could reach agreement on? And can that be done before the December 23rd deadline when the automatic cuts kick in? You know, I think the answer is yes. And probably not. Yes, we can. I think there is common ground there because our tax code, as you know, is just so burdensome. And now we're so uncompetitive with the, re with the rest of the world, and it's really dragging us down. Being able to do that before the deadline, I think, is unlikely. I, mean, I, I think the deficit reduction group ought to work on deficit reduction and set a timetable for tax reform that really requires the president in Congress together to lay their reforms on the table with a defined date to be voting on them. I think that would actually move this process forward. Congressman Kevin Brady, thanks so much for joining us on the phone from Texas. Rhonda, thank you very much.